The Florida governor's ban on face masks in schools was dealt a blow in court today after a judge ruled school districts can impose mask mandates. Now, this battle is just the latest in the heated debate over masks. Here's ABC's Alex Stone. As children return to school, the debate over masks continues. In Florida, school districts wishing to require masks were handed a victory in court when a Tallahassee judge ruled in favor of parents who sued to overturn the governor's executive order banning mask mandates. Face mask policies that follow CDC guidance are at this point in time reasonable and consistent with the best scientific and medical opinion and guidance in the country at this time. All 50 states now seeing high community transmission. These maps show how in just 10 weeks a Delta variant spread like wildfire, now accounting for nearly 99 percent of all new cases nationwide. Kentucky deploying the National Guard to help with COVID response. The state has requested FEMA teams to help understaffed hospitals. Hospitalizations have increased every day without exception for the past 42 days, from 239 on July 14th to 2,074 on August 25th. Valerie Alvaretto is a nurse at Wise Health Systems in Decatur, Texas. Her mother was recently admitted with COVID-19. The hardest part was uh, putting her on a ventilator, worrying that that was going to be the last time I got to speak with my mother. As of Thursday, the rural hospital had just two ICU beds left. This surge has been more challenging for the hospital industry than the previous one. In Oklahoma City, Kendra Johnson's 13-year-old son, Clarence, lost his battle with the virus. He was truly loved by a whole lot of people. Meanwhile, in Washington, a divided Supreme Court struck down the CDC's nationwide moratorium on evictions. It was meant to keep people in their homes during the pandemic. Millions of renters could now face evictions in the coming months. Alex Stone, ABC News, Los Angeles. Hawaii's governor is considering locking down the islands if the COVID-19 Delta variant cases continue to rise. Governor David Ige made the prediction today. Hawaii has had nearly 16,000 new infections in August amid a spike of cases that has repeatedly broken state records. Earlier this week, Governor Ige asked tourists to stop coming to the islands, but stopped short of enacting any formal restrictions on travel.